Hello, welcome to another Toneless Landscape Oil Painting Demonstration with your painter in residence, M. Francis McCarthy. And it's a redo, it's an 8x8. It's called Morning Brook. I'm pretty sure it's called Morning Brook. Let's check that out here. Yes, Morning Brook. Now, Morning Brook, well, you just saw what it looked like before I started my recent redo. I did redo Morning Brook once before. And uh, at that time, I painted in this whole entire clump of trees on our left, um, replacing um, some very idiosyncratic trees that were there previously. And I felt better about it, but I still felt it was kind of, I think the word would be meh, M-E-H. Just wasn't floating my boat. One of the things I wanted to do was to maybe move this... Um, clump of trees in the back further back and you can see I'm trying some different scumbling uh, techniques on them uh, and I just tried yellow and yellow is really making things green I believe I come in yes I come in immediately after with probably a mix of permanent orange and um, burnt sienna and that is successfully moving that further back and kind of giving it a, a sort of interesting feeling I I uh, I like that and I think I pretty much left it alone uh, from there at least the background bit the other thing I did of course was um, this extensive uh, multi hued glazing in the sky to really sock in the uh, the sunset slash twilight sort of feeling and uh, I think that works really well too so uh, I don't think I'll be redoing this painting again uh, it was um, you know, uh, like I say, improved oh, after the first redo, which, you know, unfortunately, uh, well, I could, I could have stuck it in. Um, I, I do have that. I did record that. Um, and I actually recorded the original painting in the first place. If I was uh, really uh, bloody minded, I would, would throw all that up. And, uh, but to me, you know, it's really the most interesting thing is what I did to improve it in the present uh, time. Yeah, now a little bug flying around um, the redo I like to share the redos because let's face it if you're a uh, painter and uh, you're doing paintings you're they're not all great you're not uh, even Georgia Ness who was one of the greatest painters that uh, ever lived definitely the greatest landscape painter that ever lived um, he did he laid a lot of eggs and he was constantly redoing and revising his work um, I wouldn't say to the point where some people worried about his um, relative sanity but uh, that's not one of my issues I'm willing to let things go uh, however uh, as I discussed I think when the I put up the last 8x8 uh, I ran into a situation where it had a gallery that sold quite a few of 8, 8 by 8s and they have in the past and I was thinking well I want to put some more 8x8s eight in there and I was going through my box of 8x8s eight and I just didn't see anything that I felt proud of sharing there and um, thus the revision process ensued uh, now I am uh, pretty happy with this now um, I wouldn't say I'm as happy with it as if it had been just awesome out of the gate but I do feel like it was pretty dramatically improved and um, a far more saleable uh, and interesting painting now it really you get that feeling of twilight and uh, uh, whereas before uh, the colors were you know more standard and there's nothing wrong with that it's not 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 saying every painting's got to be pumped up with color however I have been enjoying doing that in my redo process more and more which is really really pumping up the color and because uh, it's fun and it looks it looks good and as I always teach my students if it looks good it is good when it comes to painting anyway that might not be the case say with an automobile it might look great but when you get in and turn it on and it's not working it really doesn't matter what it looks like <laughs> but with art and uh, music um, if it looks good it is good if uh, music when it sounds good it is good and uh, um, speaking of, I have been um, playing a lot more with music lately, getting back into it. It's really mostly a hobby for me, and um, uh, I've taken some big breaks from it. In fact, one of the main reasons I took a giant break from uh, music uh, music production was uh, 
when I started uh, investing a lot of time in processing these videos, but I've got a pretty good handle on that now, at least that's what I like to tell myself, and uh, so I do manage to carve out some time for uh, music making, and uh, the little background tracks you'll hear, you know, um, that's my stuff, so I don't have to pay anyone to use it, and uh, you know, it's fun, it's really fun, I dig it. Um, anyway, if you're ever interested in uh, looking into my music, uh, I really should uh, put that uh, back up on my website. I used to have that on my website, but uh, at some point I think uh, I was thinking, well, just all painting and nothing but painting, but I might put that back up there. Anyway, you can go to band uh, Bandcamp, I think. Type in Yawning Abyss, and you'll get me. Yep, and Theory of One, that was my first project. Anyway, thank you for joining me today. New subscribers, thank you for subscribing. And old subscribers, thank you for sticking around. If you like this video, please click like. I'd appreciate that. Um, also, share it if you feel like sharing it. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already. So, I'll be back real soon with another video. Meanwhile, please take good care and stay out of trouble.